Oh, hey, Ricky. Hey, Matt. How's it uh, going? You're ready for the filming, right? I'm so excited. Today's going to be so much fun. It is going to be awesome. Now, listen, we've got the Olympics going on. Yes. So, did you remember to bring the flags? Oh, yeah. I think I put them in my pocket here. What do you mean? Oh, you got all the there. Yeah. flags. What country your... do you want? How, where are all these coming you from? You can have a country, and you can have a country. These are all in your pocket. This is... That's kind of ridiculous. Hey, good job. Hey. Nice. I brought it. Hey, welcome to this edition of our value vlog, talking about one of my favorite words, which is commitment. My name is Matt, uh, Director of Experience, and I have with me... Uh, Ricky, and I'm an experience leader. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Matt. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad so you're we're here. talking about one of my favorite values, which is commitment. And I brought up my definition here, so I wouldn't miss it. But a commitment is being bound emotionally or intellectually to a course of action, and a synonym of that would be dedication. So Ricky, we know that the word on everyone's mind as we start the new year, the one thing everyone's talking about is of course the word resolutions. resolutions. So we're talking, you know, a lot of the talk at the beginning of the year is all about resolutions, okay? I'm gonna eat less, I'm gonna work out more, I'm gonna write more handwritten notes to my friends, I'm gonna call them more often. But uh, you know what, Ricky, more often than not, those resolutions get broken. They sure do, and it's it's so refreshing to know that like two months into the year, we're, we're not sitting here talking about resolutions and how do you make them and keep them, but we're actually talking about what it means and how that can relate to being committed to something. Mm -hmm. So my handy-dandy definition of resolution is a formal expression of an opinion or an intention made. And so where versus the a commitment is a pledge to something that you work towards continually. It's not something, it's just a, not a one and done kind of thing. That's good. So when I think about a pledge, so say if I want to lose some weight, I've got to build some systems and structures mm -hmm. and get committed uh, to those goals. Not just an intention, but a pledge. Sure. It makes me think about, you know, for, for those who are married. Uh, I've been married just over 10 years, and then uh, you and Nicole? Be six years this year. Yeah, so, you know, when you get married, it's not just an intention, it's making a commitment to each other. And so when I think about that commitment, you know, I love the, uh, the phrase, you don't fall in love, you commit to it. And uh, I think that's absolutely a perfect definition of thinking about commitment. So Ricky, what does this have to do with business context and what does commitment have to do uh, for us personally? Great question, Matt. You don't just wake up and decide that you're gonna change the world or just fall into success. You mm -hmm. really have to think about it and commit to it and you, there's a, a promise that you have to make to just go after and commit to. And so I say we promise in 2018 to work so that it's life-giving and it doesn't just feel like something we have to do, but it's something that we want you to do. That's great, I love that definition there. And I think about, you know, we're in the season of the Olympics, all these incredible athletes. There's no better story of commitment that I've heard than that of Sean White this so year. Good. Only a few months ago, I think back in October, mm -hmm. he has an insane crash, 64 stitches on his face. He's asking himself the question, do I still want to do this? He comes back from that crazy injury, makes a perfect score uh, during his Olympic trials, and then just uh, this past week wins his third Olympic gold medal. I mean, you want to talk about an incredible uh, dedication and commitment so, yeah. uh, to his sport there. And, and hopefully that story can inspire you as well as we talk about commitment. 